Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here at the final press conference in Manchester for Warrington versus Frampton. With me I've got the man himself, Josh Warrington. Uh, just had the final press conference there. It was yep. very respectful between uh, you and uh, Carl Frampton there. Uh, I just want to compare the two. When you fought Lee Selby, it was very heated and Carl was very respectful. Which, which do you prefer? <laughs> I got words. Come with territory though. But, um, I wasn't expecting that kind of press conference to be fair. I thought it might have been a bit more fired up. But if he would you know, like behave like he did respectfully, then then that's going to be the same for me. Because I did say 12 weeks ago when we did the round table, I said that you know, he won't see no shit from me because I respect him as a fighter. So he showed respect there and come back. I mean, I have seen over the last few weeks a lot of, a little bit of snipiness, I've seen his ass with a few, with a few things what I've said, but. I wasn't expecting that, like I say, but... Primarily, he's, he's bringing up the fact that you... Th you've mentioned... Yeah, maybe you don't no, say it in certain no, no, no. words, but you've mentioned the fact that you think he's over the hill. No, I, I, I'm I, not going to quote you on that. I, I, I did just say up there, like, I've never said that. Yeah. I'm, I'm prepared for the, the, the Carl Frampton in his speak. It's not a case of me thinking he's, he's over the hill. All I said were, you can't say that you're a peak of career by going off his last two wins. Or last three wins, sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not the same level as what Leo Santa Cruz is and Scott Quigg. They were two and a half years ago. You know, I my last fight was seven, seven, six, seven months ago, and against you know world champion. His last one was against Luke Jackson. And no disrespect to Luke Jackson, but not that level. Mm -hmm. It's not the same level. So how can you say that you're still at high level? You know, a boxing is, is a short career, and you're two years uh, down from the level it used to be. It's a long time. So he won't know until Saturday where his level's at. We're but he's probably just trying to convince himself. Yeah, we're trying to see that same scenario with Tyson Fury though, haven't we? Where he's been up and then he's been down and then he's been up again. Do you think that could spoke with think, looking at what Tyson's done, that, that could be the same factor with, with Carl going into this fight? Maybe so, maybe so. But I think, I think it's different with uh, the smaller weights. Where the view weights, the game's a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. um, you don't rely on reactions and, and fitness as much. Because, like I say, you've, you know, it's a lot slower paced out. Um, Whereas the featherweight, you, you don't go into your forties at the high level, do you? You, yeah. just, you know, what well, a lot of a lot of fighters uh, everywhere do. Um, I just think the, the, the career span at uh, top level is a lot shorter. So we'll see, we'll see. It's an all I've all I've done is prepare for the very best car from So. so um, well, yeah. whatever it brings. Well, you're, you're an undefeated world champion, and the book is of you as the underdog going into mm. this fight. Um, why do you think that is? Um, Being that you, 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 like you say, your last three fights, Carl Frampton's not funny, but you beat Lee, beating uh, Lee Selby. You know what I mean? No idea. No. Does that bother you then? Not really. No, I doubted more most of my career. People just think I got where I am because of my fan base, but I went to all my titles on the road. You know, it's, it's one of them things. It's, I'm, a, I'm an underdog, but I don't know. I've, I've won a world title, haven't I? You know, I've, I'm, I'm not the fastest, not the, not the strongest, I'm not the most intelligent, but I get the wins, I get the, I get the wins, I? I get the wins yeah. so I think that's that's the main thing. And I don't know what, sometimes I don't know what the bookies look up, but um, maybe it might change after, after this one. Definitely, well, again, you are the world champion and all going well inside tonight. There's other world champions out there, I think yeah. that's the next... Uh, step for you to yeah, maybe definitely. go over there and fight the Oscar Valdez's and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, definitely. There's, I mean, this fight's going to be streamed all over all over the States and that's what wakes your appetite, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, the big nights over there in the States, what you dream of? And now it's like in touch and distance. Up, oh yeah. man, I, I, I already been telling them, get the passports ready and get <laughs> saving. You know, put the gyros to one side, we're going over, we're taking over. And yeah, that's what you want to be part of. You know, you want to be part of them big nights and, 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 and go, go stateside. I mean, I know there's some big shows over here, but like I've done everything I needed to do, you know. I boxed at the big arenas and you know, boxed at Ellen Road. It's like, now let's go stay, so let's win some more belts. Well, but anyone in particular stay side, do you prefer Madison Square Garden, Vegas, or just anywhere? Yeah, you know, Kansas? Either. Don't get me wrong, Vegas would, be, Vegas would be nice. You know, this is, over the last few years it's been a, been a, like the new warm, hasn't it? But mm. somewhere like Madison Square Garden's got the mystery, so either either. So before I let you go, one final question. The last interview I did with you, you said you, you believe you can knock Carl Frampton out. You still share that in the minute, and what can the fans expect from you on Saturday yeah, definitely. night? Definitely. No, I was to say, I believe I've got the power. You know, like Carl said, I must have seen this interview and said, I need to take my pillows off, but when you when you go about the last 10 fights, you know, most of these have been at Super Bantam, mine have been at Feather. You know, I've had more stoppages than what he's had. So, you know. What can the fans expect? An explosive fight? Please? Explosive fight, yeah. and uh, if it's said, I'm taking it, and still. Good stuff, all. Josh, again, thanks for this fight, Phil TV, and I'll catch up with you soon, buddy. Thank, Thank you very you. much.